Welcome to Growing Together Ministries. I'm Pastor David Ray of Ahusky, North Carolina. Thank you so much for joining us one more time for a message from God's Word. I want to thank those of you here in the United States, Jamaica, Nicaragua, Uganda, Mozambique, South Africa, Kenya, Tanzania, Australia, and India. We have friends of the ministry in all of these 10 countries. Praise God. As we continue to grow and expand for God, I seek your prayers for Growing Together Ministry. Is our goal is to reach the unsaved with the Word of God and to encourage the Christian in their walk with God. Today, if you have your Bibles, turn with me to James chapter 1. James chapter 1, we're going to begin reading with verse 22. Today's message, are we doers of the word? Are we doers of the word? Before we go to God in prayer, I just want to say once again, thank you for joining with us live and all that will join us throughout the coming week in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everyone that is watching this broadcast. We pray your God, your blessings on their life in a very powerful way today. Dear God, move on their life in a powerful way. Dear God, bring joy to where sadness has been. Dear God, if anyone is unsaved watching this broadcast today, I pray that you would save them in the name of Jesus Christ, that they would repent of all their sins and come into right relationship with you, our Father. Lord, bless this message. Give me the words to stay to say from heaven that will help your people today. We praise you, dear God. We praise you, dear God. We feel your anointing, dear God. Touch us in a mighty way today. In Christ's name. Amen. What a great joy to be with you again. Let's go to James chapter 1, verse 22. But be ye doers of the word. We all have a complete understanding of doing. We are all doing something every day of the week. But are we doing in the Word of God? The Word has the potential to do great and mighty works and things within our lives. The Word of God can do great and mighty things in our lives if we will read the word of God. How much time are we spending reading the word of God each day? I know I've referred to this question before, but I believe it is very important that we go back and we examine this question because our blessings are a result of our willingness to get into the Word of God and apply ourselves 
to daily spending time with God? Are we doers of the word today and not hearers only? A lot of people do a very good job of listening to the Sunday morning message. They do a very good job of being an hearer. They receive it into their ears, but when they leave the Sunday morning service, are they acting on what they have received from God? Are they doers of the word of God? Are you out witnessing to the unsaved? Are you sharing love with family and friends and even people you do not know. While hearing the word is definitely necessary, at the same time, it must be heard properly. And that refers to the heart that wants to receive. You can hear anything you want to hear, but are you properly letting it be fine-tuned into your mind, and are you receiving it? Are you hearing properly what God is trying to say to you? Or are you only taking bit and pieces of what God has for you? Deceiving your own selves. If we think we can live this life, without total faith in Christ and the cross, we're doing what James said not to do. We're deceiving ourselves by not staying in the complete word of God. Our answer to life's problems, our answer to financial problems, is the word of God. Are you reading the word of God for yourself? Are you a doer of the word of God? Not only are you listening, a hearer and reading, but are you doing what God through the Holy Spirit tells you to do? Verse 23, for if any be a bearer of the word and not a doer, he is likened to a man beholding his natural face in a glass. He sees only that which is external and therefore cannot make a proper evaluation. You must be able to get in fellowship with God and receive from God and leave your flesh out of it in order to receive what God would have for you. If you will allow God to speak to you through reading the word of God, great things can happen in your life. Great things can be manifested in your life and God can take you places you've never gone before. But we cannot only just look in the physical. We must look into the spiritual to receive what God would have for us to receive. Not just reading to say that I'm reading the word of God, but we must be convinced in our mind, I'm here to hear from you, God. I'm here to do what you want me to do. God wants to do great things with us here in the year 2019. Wherever you may be, in Austria, India, Tanzania, Kenya, South Africa, Mozambique, Uganda, Niagara, the United States, Jamaica, wherever you're at, God wants to do great things with you. But are we doers of the word, not just hearers? Verse 24, 
of James chapter one, for he beholds himself and goes his way, which is not God's way. This is how Christians walk away from God. When you behold yourself, when you, when you stay in the mirror looking at yourself at what you have accomplished, and when you only look at the flesh at what you can do and what you have done, you can slip from the presence of God. You can slip from reading the word of God. You can slip from communicating with God. And this is very important that we receive this. And I want to read it again. For he beholds himself and goes his way and straightway forgets what manner of man he was. God has done great things in your life. God wants to continue to do great things in your life, but you must continue to read and apply the word of God to your life. You must continue to walk into the presence of God. An evaluation of ourselves is necessary. However, it is God alone who knows the heart which the word of God properly presented reveals. Only God knows what you're thinking right now as you watch this broadcast. Only God knows what's going through your mind? Are you connected with God, with your whole heart? Or are there parts of your heart, mind, that are separated from the throne room of God today? I trust that James chapter 1, verses 22 through 24, will touch your life in a way that it's never touched you before. How people walk from God is when we just look into the mirror and we see ourselves. God sees past the mirror. God sees our intentions within our mind. God knows why we do what we do, dear brothers and sisters. Oh, if your mind was revealed today, why you do what you do, is it because of money? Is it because of fame? Is it because you're seeking attention? Or are you truly serving God today? You're applying the word. You're a doer of the word of God. And God is blessing you mightily. You're seeing people saved. You're seeing Christians united with God because you played an influence in their life. Through your example, you showed them through your dedication to God every day. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ today that we'll take the word of God out from the bookshelf and we'll read it not as a history book, but as a book that is alive. The word of God can change your family situation today. No matter if you're in Jamaica or in Kenya, Africa, watching this broadcast, or here in the United States, in Williamston, North Carolina, or a Husky, North Carolina. God can change your situation. Will you allow God to change you today? Are we doers of the word of God? This has been the Growing Together Ministry broadcast. I'm Pastor David Ray of a Husky, 
North Carolina. I hope you have a great day in God. Join us next Saturday for the next week's broadcast.